morning you beautiful creatures how the devil are you i hope you're well if you're new here my name is lou or lucifer as my friends like to call me by my friends i mean my ever-growing army of demons i am being extra quiet today just because we are doing gareth's surprise um we are going to yorkshire wildlife park uh we are going to do i've been looking at the wrong side for the whole video great love that uh, <clears throat> So we are going to Yorkshire Wildlife Park and we are going to do the hyena experience and that basically means that we get to meet the hyenas, we get to help with their feeding and we basically get to do like a little uh, information tour about them which is really exciting because Gareth's favourite animal is the hyena. Uh, we don't like to do all that cutesy fluffy stuff on this channel apart from if it's me and it's red panda experiences because <laughs> red pandas are my favourite animal. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really good day. The sun is actually shining, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it's it's going to be all right. Yes, I know, two alternative people going out on a sunny day, like who'd have thought it? However, the best time to go to somewhere like Yorkshire Wildlife Park is when it is sunny because the animals are out, like it's a really good time. Also, there is a lot of walking involved and not a lot of shade, so yeah, it is usually beneficial to go when it is quite sunny. I was trying to book the Evolution um, restaurant experience, but it wasn't letting me do it online. So I'm going to go and check it out when we're there to see if we can get in because the last time we went was incredible, but we didn't actually vlog it the first time we went. So hopefully we can get in there. If not, I'll try and find somewhere else we can have food. But yes, come and join us as we look at all the floofs, uh, the hyenas. I'm very excited. So I hope you have a horrible time in the best possible way. We're going to see the hyenas. We're going to see the hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. How do you feel about your surprise? Excited. Yes. What are you most excited about? Oh, don't say we're not heavy metal folks. Hyenas are my favourite. Everyone goes for lions. Hyenas are just so cool. Yeah, they are. I mean, it was just your little face because the last time we came here, so we hadn't seen the hyenas all day, mainly because they're quite solitary and just don't want to, just don't want to get involved, which we can relate to on a spiritual level. And his little face. It's like there are hyenas here, but I just can't see them. And I was like, I know that I just earned practically nothing, however, this guy I would give my last cent to. So, you'd give your last rollo. I would give my last rollo to this man. That's how serious you know I am about this relationship. <laughs> We've been here multiple times before. We came here during the COVID. Um, we came here a second time for the painted dog experience. Don't know why I've got an Irish accent and a lisp at the same time. <laughs> Came for the painted dog experience as well, which was insane. Mm. I think our keeper was Ashley. I want to say Ashley. Wow. Yeah, because she, she does a lot to do with the carnival, so hopefully we have her again today. But that was brilliant. So if you want like a more in-depth view of the park in general, check our first one out. I'll pop it here somewhere. Um, the second one, we do a few bits and pieces, but because it's raining... Yeah, the weather was a bit poor. But hopefully, the weather does look like it's kind of holding up a little bit today. You've got your camera with you, haven't you? So hopefully we're going to get some good snapshots. Also, fun fact for you, Power Wolf actually came here... ...to come and see the maimed wolf. And uh, she's recently, she's had cubs, but I think they might be a little bit bigger now. Yeah. But hopefully we're gonna catch them today. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be chill today. We're gonna obviously show you the experience because that's what you've obviously clicked on the video for. Thank you very much. This is one of our first videos after download as well. So you kind mm. of get to see if you've recently subscribed to us, what adventures we go on. So we do stuff like this, we do gigs, we do uh, paranormal 
experiences we do like horror a lot of conventions as well so it's nice for you to kind of see us outside of the download setting so hello to everybody who subscribed to us because of the download but yeah you get to see us in our day-to-day -day life our natural habitat out in the wild Absolutely thriving. You're just like running around trying to find him. No, it's from the sun, it's the hair. Oh! Yeah. So Speedy's in the other Speedy's one. Speedy's on the other side of the fence. I see. Yeah. This is a hyena enclosure. So we think the mum and son just came out to grace us with their presence. So I think we'll be dealing with Speedy. Yeah, potentially. Speedy's your favourite though, isn't he? Yeah, because you get bullied. What? Get bullied, remember? Well, yeah, I know that, but what kind of like, message is this, vi is this video so delivering? Boring. Story, we stand bullied animals. If you, if you yourself are a bullied animal, then come to this channel and subscribe because we'll love you. They're right there. They're incredible. They're incredible. <laughs> He was like, they're so fluffy, and I was like, they will tear your face off. Yeah, but they're so fluffy. <laughs> In the gate and the movement structure of different animals. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. So it's more like it's more like knowledge on how they kind of thrive and how they move. How yeah. they evolved, and also we do. He wants to upload it onto our zoo software. So right. Yeah. Collections using. And then that software will have an individual animal's gate. <laughs> nice one, Gwen. You ruined it for everybody. <laughs> they're still picking on him. Yeah, they're yeah. not great with him. Speedo! Come here! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they're hopping down the house. Oh! Come on, Hello! So this is Speedy. Yeah. 16 year old male hyena. So his name is Speedy Gonzalez because he comes from France. <laughs> um, you can tell there's not a speedy bird about that. No. Um, so yeah, he's a 16 year old male. So he's our dad. Yeah. That handsome little chap who's hiding. That's Maverick who's three. And then Granada is 13. Uh, so like what we talked about before, matriarchal society. Yeah. So we can't house Speedy in with a female and her male cub. Got it, okay. Uh, so yeah, we just have to manage them separately. We do mix the paddocks quite often, well as often as we can. Mm -hmm. But we do have to be aware that there's two of them and one of you. As we're looking at 1,100 PSI to 1,250 PSI, and we're 125 to 150. Um. Massive difference. Uh, so out in the wild, these guys are prolific hunters because they can just grab something and go. Mm. Uh, lions got a strong jaw force, so mm. like we've got caught by a lion, we're not going to get away from Yeah, them. yeah. Um, but they don't have that jaw force to crush down and break bone instantly, yeah. whereas mm. these guys do. Yeah. Um, and they eat everything. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Some collections put bowling balls in with them, yeah. and they eat them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. Uh, we don't do that here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as funny as I think it would be to see Speedy with a bowling ball. <laughs> mm. uh, and it was when there was quite a few of us in the house training and she got a bit overwhelmed. So she growled and we all left and we were like, <laughs> not doing that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll crack on with the feeding. Yeah. We do foot dips and we do maths and we do just a little dip dip. Have a little bird bath. <laughs> Come on, Do you want to go first? Oh, go on, then. It's my treat. I was about to say, yeah. Is it a present to you this time? Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. Well, it was the, it was the first time. It's <laughs> <laughs> Very good at gifting. Uh, aren't I? Yes. Yes. I mean, aren't I? I? I mean, what was, what was mine to you this time? It was it tickets to go see Creeper. <laughs> yeah. And then I bought you tickets to see Creeper, and it's like, well, we've ruined this. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch with your bag getting a bit closer. Yeah. So we don't have yellow line, so we're going to stay on this line. Yeah. We'll feed yep. Speedy first because he's here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Ready? These pieces of meat are massive. Mmm. They're bigger than the ones we gave to the uh, Dog, painted dogs, dogs yeah. yeah. Ready? Oh, bless so it's him. Be more snatching. Yeah. <laughs> so 
sounds like me at a carvery. <laughs> How much mate? <laughs> okay. Um so this is a point of for us that sorry, we're getting slightly older, also losing that fur around the side of his head. Yeah. Mm. Oh bless him. He's becoming a little bit bold. <laughs> But it's okay, isn't it? Male hyenas are different collections when they're housed with females. Yeah. They're bold all over the top. Right, mm -hmm. okay. So the females pin them down and they rip all of their fur out. Um, it's a dominance display. Right. One, because fur always makes you look bigger. Yeah, yeah. Final yeah. erection, fur goes straight up. I'm bigger than what I actually appear. Yeah. So that takes away a little bit of the male's uh, presentation. Yeah. If they are displaying. Hmm. Um, and also because they can. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thinks they're scavengers. Yeah. They're not scavengers at all. We like to refer to them as cleaners. They're yeah. helping the environment, mm. reducing the amount of bio waste that we've got, um, but also supporting smaller ecosystems mm. which thrive through reptiles and birds because they eat all the calcium from the bones. Eating so mm. much bone, they recalcify it, and a lot of it comes out in their excrement. Mm. Once they've passed that excrement, then things like snakes, reptiles, insects and birds mm. can all eat that mm. and then they do the whole recalcification process again yeah uh, so birds will take it to put into their eggs also to support the air pockets mm. in their bones obviously so they can fly uh, unless you're a penguin then you're useless <laughs> um we just have to be a bit careful one because he's really curious at the minute so he keeps touching mm. this electric fence you're as bad as your dad go ahead <laughs> So we're trying to train him to display paws. We want to check the underside of his paws. Yeah, yeah. Hence why he goes up. Um, obviously, he still does that mesh. So that mesh here, I'm doing it here because there's no hyena. Yeah. <laughs> so when they lean against the mesh like this, we encourage it because then we can do a hand injection right, into the pot. Okay. Um, and they're voluntarily doing it. He'll yeah. just lounge like this all day long, won't even care. Uh, but because it's mesh as well, the square mesh in the house is really good for it. Same as this mesh. <laughs> Come on then, baby. Right, who are we going to go for first? <laughs> Didn't last long, does it? No, <laughs> no, it does not. I've said this isn't literally me at an all you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Those coats are just gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, yeah. He's growing out of his skin now. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to straighten. <laughs> Have a naturally filled one, and then Speedy's yeah. got a pool in the house. Yeah, oh, okay, not that they're spoiled or anything. I couldn't imagine running around in where with the fur they've got, I honestly. Know. It's dense, isn't it? Oh, sorry, sweetie, got a bit of foliage on it. There you go, seasoning. <laughs> there you go, you're gorgeous. Thank you. I did some training with our tiger the other day and I dropped it on the floor. Yeah. I was getting her to go in the crowd. Yeah. And she's the hand reared one that's funny about doing anything new. Oh. So she just went <laughs> and dragged it back. <laughs> and she literally got uh, loads of leaves all over it and she was trying to eat it. She <laughs> I thought she was just going to look at it and be like, that? Are you serious? Really? Uh, yeah, that's done. Mav. Sit. Come on. You're not going to lift to her. So good. So this is um, his position for his blood draw training. Yeah. So we don't like doing sedations here. Same as yeah. dogs. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Of course. Um, so these guys had partial blood draws from the neck mm -hmm. uh, to discover whether he was actually male or female. Yeah. Um, he's male. It's a boy. Blue balloons and everything. <laughs> um. So yeah, now he's officially part of his breeding program. Oh, so brilliant! Part of the spotted hyena breeding program, which means he might get called away anytime soon. Oh, bless! <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Are you just being weird? <laughs> I think that's why that's your favourite animal. Are you being weird? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. It's just me. <laughs> We, I mean, there's still some meat left, so we probably want some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Mav, come on. Oh my gosh. Cue, Look it? what you <laughs> did. He's got the paving sack. <laughs> Mav, sit. Good. Oh. Hello.
camera everything. He was dead. Oh, I didn't want to leave. I know. He did try to steal one, but we had to politely say, maybe don't do that. They would have ripped our faces off. They would have ripped our faces off. And two, we haven't got enough room for a pet hyena. That was incredible. <laughs> a special shout out to Georgia once again, who is immaculate with the experiences. She's so knowledgeable yeah. and, you know, the experience is like an hour long. Well, and half hour. Half an hour, is it? Half an hour. Oh. Didn't feel like half an hour. No, it didn't. And she fills it up mm. with so much information, so much knowledge. You know, she was telling us about what they're doing with the hyenas and how they're creating programs and technology mm. to catch issues before they become a major problem, yeah. which was incredible. It's so nice to see that the park is really invested in the animals so uh, they're better looked after and the keepers can understand them better yeah it was we can't recommend the experiences enough one of the things i was talking to them about though so we did a silver experience and the giraffe experience is a gold experience i know this because there was a couple in front of me that was doing a giraffe experience but they also got like a tote bag a certificate um Hello, a tote bag, <laughs> a certificate. Um, Did they get a plushie as well? I don't think they got a plushie. But they got all this neat stuff and I was like, oh, okay, so is it a case of we have to do the golden experience to do that or what? So. Whereas um, when we did the Red Panda experience at Chester, you got all that included. Interesting. But, no, because in Chester it's not tiered. No, no it isn't. So I might query that and see what they say. We have arrived at the Polar Bear Project 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's basically for the lady polar bear with her cub next to the tall horses, aka the giraffes. And the camels. And the camels, uh, the humpy donkeys. <laughs> if any children watch this now, they're going to be so confused. What's another name for a camel? This is going to be on a test. A humpy donkey. Uh, yeah, so they are inside their enclosure at the moment just because it's a little bit too warm. But I just thought I'd show you that there's something a little bit extra for you to come and check out. And there may be a, ba a baby polar bear hanging around. But they're inside. They're a bit too warm, which is fair. Where are we going? I'm going to go and see the other pigs. If you don't know what that's a reference to, go and check out our first vlog when I FaceTime my mum and tried to show her the the, pa uh, the pandas, the polar bears. And she was like, oh yeah, look, they're pigs. No, Bev, they're, they're not. They're not, are they? And this family next to us were absolutely creasing. They thought it was so funny. So um, that's what happened the first time we came. We're gonna go and see some pigs. We're gonna go and see some polar bears. Um, this is, I think we're pretty much just chilling for the rest of the day now. We have got our food all sorted. That all went well from what I said earlier. Very excited for that because we didn't actually vlog that the first time we came. So it'll be, it'll be cool to show you guys what it looks like. Is it evolution? Evolution. Inside evolution dining because it's like a theme dining experience. Like Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, like Rainforest Cafe, but I don't think yeah. as good. I don't know, we've never been. But also, can we just talk about the oh, fact no. that we have literally got 1,284 subscribers now? Like, that is insane. Thank you so much. News just in, folks. The baboons at the baboon house are committing gratuitous violence against their happy dats. Heard it here first, folks. They are literally vandalising the property. Planks of wood flying everywhere. Heathens, youths, the lot of them. Won't somebody stop this madness? We're back at the Painted Dogs. The last time we were here, we actually did an experience for Gareth's birthday and uh, we got to listen to all the information about the Painted Dogs. We got to feed them further down there as well. And uh, Gareth had a dead good time, didn't you? Yeah, it was a year and a half in the making. <laughs> yes, it was. Because Muggins over here um, didn't know how to book it and then it nearly like got discontinued but they were very nice and they let us do it. 
but they are absolutely beautiful. We were actually saying that when we fed the painted dogs, they were a lot more aggressive in their feeding than the hyenas were. So, I don't know. I thought the hyenas would be a lot more aggressive with their feeding, but no, no, they were lovely. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend sticking your finger in and like petting one because you won't get that finger back, but they are absolutely beautiful and not one painted dog has got the same kind of coat and pattern. Also, what we wanted to show you, with the VIP experience, you'll notice that different enclosures have different gates next to them. So this is where you'll want to wait for your experience. Well, we don't do the painted dogs anymore. No, it's we with oh, the carnivore. It's with the carnivore experience. Well, so what? You get your guided around by the. By the keeper. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got Georgia. Georgia will be with you. For the yeah. So what they'll do is they'll meet you here, and then you go in there, and that's where you do all the feeding. So that's what we did last time, and it was incredible. You actually went into the enclosure, didn't you? And you there's like a little uh, like a little hatch up like, there. Yeah, like similar to what a speedy was. Yeah, yeah. And you actually put like the huge chunk of meat in there, didn't you? It was a horse. It was a horse, and um, we watched as they all came in and just ravaged it. Did you check out the video? Yeah, I'll pop that somewhere here. This is a Lima Wood. We haven't actually been here in. A good couple of years. Mm. First time we came here, we did Lima Wood, but it was very quiet, very dead because, again, uh, COVID. But we've got a experience actually going on right here, here right now. And then we've got a little Lima reveal, contemplating life. But this is, if you're thinking of doing an experience, this is what you'll end up doing. So you have the food to feed the lemurs. They'll give you information about them. And uh, it's nice, like all, all the experiences basically follow that kind of format, you know, they're informative, they show you the food, you get to feed them. But also I am being extremely mindful about what I'm filming today just because we have come in school trip season and I don't particularly like filming a lot of children. Um, I'm very protective over children their identities because you know it's a bit weird a bit weird but this is lemur wood i imagine when it's quieter you find a lot more lemurs about but like i said because it's because it's school trip season school trip season usually starts at what could time do you think around, well yeah it could be all year round but because yeah so during the month of june yeah, yeah, when they've yeah. kind of finished all their tests and whatnot they uh yeah you tend to get a lot of school trips i would recommend coming to anywhere like this or a theme park anything like that probably september because whilst you have got some school trips and some uni trips they're not nearly as popular as they are during june so get booking stuff in september the lemurs have come out to play <laughs> sneezing I think because they were doing their experience they they all kind of congregated together here they are we're now in project polar one a new hope the polar bears are very warm today they're just having a wonder really been sat down because I'm not feeling too great today and I literally turn around and see this. <sighs> Don't mock me. I'm not mocking you. You you do you sweetie. Here's the moment. There is literally a man yelling polar bear at the polar bear to get the polar bear's attention. Polar bear doesn't sound like a word anymore does it? <laughs> you know it's worked a little bit. I'll give him uh, kudos for that. How's this 
That's adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You've got me to see you in a bit. temporarily got me again wahoo um yeah i literally projectile vomited in one of the cafes and it wasn't fun whole time so we decided well i decided gareth basically enabled me i didn't yes yeah, you did uh enabled me oh something going on behind you my love we're having a little soiree uh i got these the their earrings how could i not of course of course i couldn't uh they're by robin valley and they are cherry wood and stainless steel and uh yeah i couldn't not buy them so they had the choice of these and then just the red panda faces but i thought that these were really cool also because they're studs i can wear them to work which would be really nice to miss wearing studs moving on gareth got a plushie because we always like to commemorate an experience or something we do with either a plushie or a little piece of merchandise what's his name speedy why because we fed speedy yeah speedy's gareth's favorite and this is our little hyena that's really cute i wasn't too sure he was a hyena at the been in the beginning i thought he was a painted dog but then i noticed the uh, patterns and then i got a pin set and, so and we also got i got these and I'm going to put this on my work lanyard and then to commemorate you also got a little magnet for the fridge for the fridge because we got one of these from the painted dog experience as well so now yeah. we've got a few yeah it's lovely very cute very cute uh these were 10 pounds because they are made especially um from cherry wood so it's, and i've just been looking on the website they're actually cheaper here than they are on the website oh, hey. um then the um, dog, not the dog, the hyena was $12.99. The pins were like $4.99, I think, $4.99 or $6.99. There's a thing happening. I don't know what it is. I think it's just music. Uh, food's arrived very quickly, very fast service. It's brilliant. So I'll just show you what we got. I ordered the Evolution Burger with bacon, which looks absolutely divine. And then Lou has ordered the chicken and chips. I think the, I think Speedy's after it all. But that looks that also looks really good as well. Unfortunately, I think Lou's just had to dart off to the toilet, but uh, she should be back soon. I don't want to start eating without her, but. You'll see this in the edit, but honestly, this has been a really good present. I really enjoyed today, so thank you. Love you. Now, would you like the whole restaurant to nurture your birthday? No. Yes. No. Yes. Gareth. Okay. <laughs> Gareth, and I'm 16 today. 32. 30. You don't look it. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, you ready to be embarrassed? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Evolution! We have got another birthday today. Hi, thank you. We are <laughs> celebrating Gareth's 32nd birthday. <laughs> Woo! Can we give a big round of applause? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>
Enjoy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You've got me again. I'm currently trying to hold him vomit whilst I'm showing this to you. They did a birthday thing for Gareth. <laughs> That's so cute. These guys have honestly been insane. Yeah. They have been so, so good. The food's been brilliant. And are you a happy boy? Yeah. Letting the whole restaurant yeah, know how old you are? embarrassed. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm glad. You look stunning in the shot, by the way. Eat your food. Okay. <laughs> this is what the fantasy side looks like. We must be the kind of people that look like we like dinosaurs. I mean, I do work with them at Towers, so I guess. Ooh, you're pretty. Don't touch, I burn. So do I. And we are done. I think you're more done than me. I am so ill. I don't know what happened. Um, I should be over this. I should be so over this. Apologies about that. I had to stop because Tracy Chapman was playing and I am not getting a copyright strike because of Tracy Chapman. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a really good day. Uh, Evolution, they were phenomenal. Eloise particularly, who was our main server. She was brilliant. I'm sufficiently embarrassed. Mm, good. <laughs> uh, so that's it for today. Uh, what we got next? Uh, Event-wise, mm. my haunted hotel. Yes. So in just under two weeks, we will be tackling my haunted hotel once again. For your birthday. For my birthday. We've got no idea what's going to happen. Um, anything could happen. Anything could happen. We've got a good little team going with us this time. We've got all our friends going with us. Uh, Bar, James and Sophie. You've already met them on the vlog. Um, just because it's not Sophie's vibe at all. I respect that. And, uh, yeah, I'm literally... I'm going to go to sleep in the car and pray that I don't throw up again. You've had a good birthday. It's been very good. This is officially the end of your birthday now. Yes. <laughs> it's been, it feels like it's been going for years. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But thank you everyone so much who celebrated Gareth's birthday with him. It's been a pleasure. Let's see how my birthday goes. So I hope you've had a good day. If not, that's okay. Always remember. Tomorrow's a new day. See you later, guys. Bye.